Siem Reap. The name Siem Reap can be translated to mean defeat of Siam, Siem in Khmer, and is commonly taken as a reference to an incident in the centuries-old conflict between the Siamese and Khmer kingdoms, although this is probably apocryphal. According to oral tradition, King Ang Chan, 1516-1566, had named the town Siem Reap, meaning the defeat of Siam, after he repulsed an army sent to invade Cambodia by the Thai king Maha in 1549. However, scholars such as Michael Vickery consider this derivation to be simply a modern folk etymology, and maintain that while the name Siem Reap in Chanla, old Chinese name for Cambodia, may perhaps be related, the actual origin of the name is unknown. The traditional tale claims that King Ang Chan of Cambodia tried to assert greater independence from Siam, which was then going through internal struggles. The Siamese King Shara had been poisoned by his concubine, Lady Sri Sudakin, who had committed adultery with a commoner, where Wang Zathar at, while the king was away leading a campaign against the kingdom of Chiang Mai. Sudakin then placed her lover on the throne. The Thai nobility lured them outside the city on a royal procession by barge to inspect a newly discovered white elephant. After killing the usurper, along with Su Dakin and their newly born daughter, they invited Prince Thayan Ra to leave the monkhood and assume the throne as King Maha Chakrafat, 1548-1569. With the Thais distracted by their internal problems, King Ang Chan decided the time was right to attack. He seized the Siamese city of Pranbury in 1549, sacking the city and making slaves of its inhabitants. Only then did he learn that the succession had been settled and that Maha Chakrafat was the new ruler. An Chan immediately retreated to Cambodia, taking his captives with him. King Maha Chakrafat was furious over the unprovoked attack, but Burma had also chosen to invade through the Three Pagodas Pass. The Burmese army posed a much more serious threat, as it captured Kanchanaburi and Safanburi. It then appeared before Yathaya itself. The Thai army managed to defeat the Burmese, who quickly retreated through the pass. Maha Chakrafat's thoughts then turned to Cambodia. Not only had Dang Chan attacked and looted Brandburi, turning its people into slaves, but he also refused to give Maha Chakrafat a white elephant he had requested rejecting even this token of submission to Siam. Maha Chakrafat ordered Prince Ong, the governor of Sawankaluk, to lead an expedition to punish Ang Chan and recover the Thai captives. The rival armies met, and Ang Chan killed Prince Ong with a lucky musket shot from elephant back. The leaderless Thai army fled, and Ang Chan allegedly captured more than 10,000 Siamese soldiers. To celebrate his great victory, King Ang Chan supposedly named the battleground Siem Reap, meaning the total defeat of Siam. In reality, surviving historic sources make this folk tale appear very unlikely, since they date the decline of the Angkor Kingdom to more than a century before this, when a military expedition from Yuthaya captured and sacked Angkor Wat, which began a long period of vassal rule over Cambodia. 6. The 1431 capture coincided with the decline of Angkor, though the reasons behind its abandonment are not clear. They may have included environmental changes and failings in the Khmer infrastructure. From the 16th to the 19th centuries, infighting among the Khmer nobility led to periodic intervention and domination by both of Cambodia's more powerful neighbors, Vietnam and Siam. Siem Reap, along with Batambang, Fritbong, and Sisyphon, major cities in the northwest of Cambodia, was under Siamese administration and the provinces were collectively known as Inner Cambodia from 1795 until 1907, when they were ceded to French into China. In fact, during the 18th century, under the rule of the Yetaya Kingdom, it was known as Nakhorn Siam, Siam's city, not as Siam's defeat.